Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 5th of March. Technically, it's my day off. And you are awesome, and I'm about to be extremely offensive. So this is totally an Asteroid Fight Club meeting. Experts say the U.S. response to the coronavirus is now likely weeks, if not months, behind schedule. So yeah, overall, it is an incredibly wild, un be announced never seen before situation in the modern era like uh, we watched china shut down a large portion of its population we watched italy shut down a large portion of its population we watched uh japan go on lockdown and now things are getting crazy and i hate to keep bringing this up but it's very important to illustrate what I'm trying to illustrate here is that just last Friday, President Trump said, hey, we've only got 15 cases. No one has died. And we will probably be at zero cases in the next few days. And less than a week later, the USA is at 233 cases. And that is even with our testing being seven weeks behind. We're still having testing problems. And so how deadly is this thing? I don't know, and I sure don't want to find out. If you want to take the chance, go ahead. And I had seen this coming while both sides of the political parties, the Democrats and the Republicans, have been acting like everything is normal status quo in the middle of a global breaking pandemic. I was like, hey man, at CPAC, why are you guys doing that? You should be practicing social distancing, as I at Thor News have been recommending since February 10th. But apparently, Congress warned possible coronavirus exposure may have occurred at the CPAC conference. If we would have taken my advice and brought rock and roll back any of the last five years, taking it out of the mu music mafia's hands, we could have avoided this or just given up war completely. But that's neither here nor there, so I digress. And anytime an anonymous person tells you to trust the plan, don't, dude, don't. All right, so Tomer Berg, there's been a rapid increase in COVID-19 cases in the last week alone in the U.S. And I got the big tip-off from Nostradamus Prestige year 1965 where he breaks down every single month for us. And he told us the proud nations would be getting hit hard by the plague. And India was like, we don't have any cases. And so by doing that, they've exported a lot of cases to other people. Egypt was like, we, we've only got three cases. We now have three people in Texas alone who got the COVID-19 virus from going to Egypt. So Egypt has exported as many cases that it, it admits having and says it's only got three. And so it's definitely been very interesting watching all the governments and seeing how they handle this situation. And things are traveling so fast. That was 231, or not 233, that... Since that plot was made two hours ago, new cases in Colorado and Maryland have uh, popped up. And I'm an old school economist enough that if you follow treasury yields they will, and credit, they will lead the way. Equities tend to go through crazy motions and that treasuries are signaling stocks still have quite a ways to fall. Personally, technically, I'm more scared, quote unquote, of how governments are going to react to this and how central banks are going to react to this. Because if they just throw money at everything and it, it lower interest rates to like zero across the board, that would take a steps closer to hyperinflation. And that is something I've warned about for seven years. Jamie Dimon, the head of the biggest bank in the USA, JP Morgan Chase, had said a week ago he had a dream that he had gotten the virus and that he gave it to all the elites at davos he had a surprise heart surgery today oh and the repo market is when the federal reserve gives short-term asterisk loans to the banks today it was a, it had to loan on 114 billion in a single day and yesterday the amount of cases we had for the coronavirus in the united states was 153 and today or 233 so that's a pretty big exponential jump coronavirus in new york 2,733 people are under quarantines in the city and 
a few schools, asterisk, are closing for the week or for the month already. Shout out to the Leo King, he was a Christian astrologer that I've been following for a few years. He has been talking about the 2020 Pluto-Saturn conjunction that happened in the beginning of January. And he was the one who was talking about how a very 9-11 event and possibly a big plague would come out about that time. He was right on the money. But this, this is weird. And it's my opinion, the super rich are super spreaders, especially from Italy. Beijing reports four new cases, all imported from Italy, which is turnabout. And then Sunnydale, earlier today, our officers performed CPR on a 72-year-old patient who was unconscious and not breathing. Fortunately, that patient didn't survive and had COVID-19. So our first responders are once again in danger. And we should be doing a lot to protect our healthcare workers and our first responders. Uh, it's amazing to me, you know, how little over the last eight weeks we've done to prepare for this. Um, it's just, it's mind blowing. It was like the only thing anybody focused on was politics up until the day after Super Tuesday, which was yesterday. Now it's here. And it seems to be spreading fast. We've got a case here in Houston that was exported from Egypt. You got your first three positive cases in Maryland. Stephen D'Souza, the father of Yippie Kaye, mother funker. I would face palm, except you know you're not supposed to touch your face. Julia Lindau, I just landed at JFK after reporting on the coronavirus in Milan, Italy. The epicenter of Italy's outbreak for Vice News. I walked right through U.S. Customs. They didn't ask me where in Italy I went. Or if I came into contact with sick people, they didn't ask me anything. And here's the deal. As Planetary Defense Commander, I give out information and advice from my perspective, and you can take it or leave it. Um, I've done my best to inform people all throughout February that this was serious, and that I personally don't want to catch it because it is a brand new virus. And, you know, when Wuhan first got it, the citizen videos that were coming out of Wuhan were pretty damn scary. And there were several videos of people just walking and then dying. And there was just some, and it appeared that China was covering up a lot of the statistics. Now, so at this point, especially through the first wave, I would just like to do what I can to avoid it. Thank you to Astro Fight Club. You guys have been amazing. So I can continue my way of just being kind of locked up in my own foxhole. And I've actually had like two people in the last week be like, hey, let me come visit you. I've been like, sorry, I'm on lockdown unless you are absolutely one of the most beautiful, talented, funny, cool, loyal women in the world. Because I would probably still make a, a risky mistake for the right lady. I was talking about, oh yeah, so you don't have to believe me. And there are a lot of people out there who are like, this is fake news. Or this isn't even as bad as the flu. I'm like, all right, if that is your attitude, I fully support you. You get in and let me know how it is. Anyway, so yeah, it's in Colorado now because the guy from Italy came to go skiing in Denver. And um, so now it's in Colorado. All of Italy's regions are now infected with the coronavirus. Today, during a uh, town hall meeting with Fox, the president said everything is going to be fine. And president bragged that We've been given rave reviews for the coronavirus response. And I thought this was cruise ship stocks in one photo as another cruise ship is turned into a giant Petri dish. And then, great news for Austin. Thanos has officially been added to the South by Southwest as a guest speaker. Assad is shelling his own forces. Man. Man corporate sector is effectively deciding to self-quarantine yeah the jamie diamond story again he said not long before the announcement that he dreamed he and other billionaires contacted the virus during january's world economic forum in switzerland and then today he had a an emergency heart surgery and you know what the bible does say that the love of money is the root of all evil the rarely 
do politicians remind you of that? But this is Rick Santali on CNBC saying he wishes everybody would just go ahead and get the virus and let's get this over with because it's hurting stocks big time. Um, and it's, it's mind blowing, but it, it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. New Jersey suspends international business travel for state employees and limits domestic travel. Alex Jones has reappeared. <laughs> and apparently he's going a, a bit extra crazy. Santa Clara, California is having a pretty big outbreak from local transmission in San Jose and this was just four days ago at a Bernie Sandy, Sanders rally where during this outbreak and pandemic that is slowly spreading politicians on both sides have been hey like come get in, in a little room with me and let us pack in and breathe each other's air which is just crazy I've been making fun of it the whole time and this is pretty damning and disturbing are the u.s government suppressing the disclosure of the real number of corona cases it's also a reminder of why the courage of frontline nurses who are putting themselves at risk while caring for the public in a healthcare crisis this is a pretty crazy video this nurse talks about how uh she had a nurse um you know, it apparently got sick while treating some coronavirus people. And then so she went to get tested. And that CDC was not very nice to her. And didn't want to test her. So she tried to get permission from the CDC to get tested. And, the, and they were like, no, get back to work. Uh, that's my. They said they would not test her because if I were wearing the recommended protective equipment, then I wouldn't have the coronavirus. Which is crazy because we've seen a lot of the doctors with wearing all the equipment in China. You know, they've had a pretty high rate of getting infected no matter what they wore. And so it's just, it's been sobering how bad at the organizations that are supposed to handle this situation have been at it. In Santa Clara is where Google is located. And so I think it's ironic that, you know, Silicon Valley who has helped propagate a lot of malware and viruses um, is getting hit hard with it. Though I wish harm on no one, but as you know, a lot of the key hackers would say, if you have Linux, viruses can't affect you. So it's like school musical chairs. If you have kids, Lowell High School in San Francisco is shut down after officials learned a relative of a student had tested positive for coronavirus. Or watching coronavirus cases in Los Angeles climb pretty rapidly Ian a big wild card is when leaders start dropping we know that a lot of the Iranian leaders have been sick and now French lawmaker Jean-Luc Ritzer has tested positive for the coronavirus and is seriously ill this woman is an artist and incredibly attractive Seattle Times yes I want the coronavirus or dismiss I think I'll dismiss it the head dude of who calls on all nations to play all the stops to fight coronavirus after last week telling the stock markets to calm down yeah so notice the credit versus stocks so i think credit and treasuries are usually pretty correct bro see the, the number jumps have been pretty big whether it be coronavirus or federal reserve adds 83 billion to their balance sheet in just the last week so on top of our $23.8 trillion national debt, the Federal Reserve holds $4.24 trillion worth of assets that have an interesting price value. 
in between me staring at Twitter constantly to get all the updates of all the things going on, I have been consuming a healthy dose of Cheers, which is in the running for either Parks and Rec is the best show ever or Cheers is the best show ever. If you love good comedy and good dialogue. Natalie, he's got a great smile. Back it up, baby. Kids in the hall are coming back, so that's great news. Comic-Con is doubling down and refusing to cancel their downtown Seattle convention in mid-March, holding a 100,000-person convention in the epicenter of the COVID outbreak in the United States is irresponsible and subjects them to potential lawsuits. Yeah, I don't, it's, it's crazy. You know, I don't know, everybody, you can make up your own mind. And here's a picture of a flying Snoopy. Hopefully it'll put a smile on your face. Walmart cancels its Dallas conference next week, restricts cross-border travel, and the three big pop culture stories I'm watching, like a Hulk, Hawk, Pence watch, because it was reported that he shook hands with the, someone who was tested positive for the coronavirus. And then South by Southwest, that big musical festival, I don't know, it's not really a music festival anymore, in Austin in two weeks, uh, they seem to be like, we're going ahead. We're going to have all the Seattle people come to town like usual and then celebrate the music mafia and Silicon Valley. You know, coronavirus be damned. So that's crazy. And then there's a Star Trek cruise going on. I'm rooting for everybody. Depends South by Southwest and Star Trek cruise, though. I would cancel South by Southwest. But like I said, I can only dish out advice, man. And Scotland told me South by Southwest is a $360 million injection to Austin. There's no way they're going to cancel it. I was like, oh, so I wonder if they've been trying to not tell anybody about any positive coronavirus cases they have just so they don't want to scare everybody away. Because like I tried to mention, there are people out there who worship money. And there are people out there who hold money as a much higher value than human lives. It's, it's sad, but it's true. And especially if you combine money and Silicon Valley, at times they don't have any regard to human beings and, and, they, and, they, and they don't like them. So I don't know though, but like it has been my opinion this whole time, this is kind of like a weird bioweapon that got out of the lab or it came straight out of the bottomless pit, pit black hole um, that we manifested with all of our hate, anger, greed over the last five years. And so that nobody's safe and no one is in control. And I keep hearing stories about they're going to have some magic vaccine in, in a week and then it's going to like mind control you or whatever. It's going to be the mark of the beast. But I'm like, no, dude, I don't think everybody likes to believe that a man is in control. I think God is in control here. So it's best to just put on your armor of God, keep your karma clean, stay cool and help out where you can, how you can. Anyway, another school, San Jose. Teacher was tested positive for coronavirus. And the weird thing about kids is apparently they don't die from the coronavirus, but they get it and then they can become super spreaders and you don't even know because they don't show any symptoms. All this doom is like a super aphrodisiac, but masturbation sounds depressing. And that's probably too much information. That dude Googled the angry duck and he was not disappointed. And you know what? I tell y'all, don't Fibonacci me, man. Still, you Fibonacci me. Okay, so in the second, we had 101 cases. And so then on the fifth, 208, it was 208. So that is the Fibonacci pattern, I believe. Although it's 233 now. So that's a pretty big jump, man. Markets are signaling lower. And since September, I've been saying we're going to see a crash in 2020. But make up your own investing advice. But if you go to South by Southwest, you know who won't be there? Twitter, Facebook, IBM, Netflix, Amazon Studios, Apple, TikTok, and Mashable. So this was seven hours ago. And so, yeah, it's a super crazy situation. And um, I had to take a break from the subject and make a video about something else, I think. Anyway, I'm doing the best I can to keep you all informed. Um, I want to thank everybody out there who contributed to this month's fundraiser and in prayers and good thoughts who's been with me along the way anyway. 
any the whole time or a little bit of the time. Like I, I feel good that I recommended everybody stock up on food and get ready mentally, physically, spiritually. At any time they tell you you gotta stay home for a couple of weeks or a month. But who knows? Maybe they may not do that and they may just see how it goes. And what is gonna be the mortality rate on this thing? Is it gonna be point one percent? Is it gonna be five percent? Uh, I don't know. I don't think right now anybody knows either. And this is just the first wave. There are a lot of scarier statistics coming out on reinfection or multiple strands. And so we just got to keep taking in the data day by day. And that's how we play it, Asteroid Fight Club. Am I right? All right. I love you guys. Stay cool. Um, God bless everyone. I'll be talking to you in the future. Although if I do make a video or two that isn't about anything serious, please forgive me. Because um, all work and no play makes Jack a, a dull dude. My name is not Jack, but man, since December 15th, I don't think I've had a lot of fun. But I have done a fantastic job as your planetary defense commander. Uh, trying to, I, so, but you know, I don't know. People get mad when I say that. Okay, stay cool.